round four for Luca with a very special guest. Good evening, Columbus. Luca on four. Go ahead. Well, Luca, if you go, I have the honor of handing you over to Alan Parsons. Uh, hello, Luca. Can you hear me? Hello, Alan. It's, uh, it's welcome on board the space station. And yes, I hear you really loud and clear. Excellent. Okay. It's, it's uh, such a strange feeling for me to be talking to some, uh, a fan in space. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Uh, you'd be surprised to know that I'm that I'm at least just as thrilled because uh, if not even more, because of course you you are you know an, in, an incredible musician, very very popular. I really like your songs as you know well, and uh, I have to thank you for uh, what you did in Rome. And uh, that, you know this is the best way for me to at least offer a very heartfelt thank you. And uh, this is just amazing for me. Luca, I was just asking about uh, the microphone you're using. I've never seen a microphone like that in a recording studio. So this microphone is, and like everything else on the station, is very sturdy. It's supposed to last for a long time, and this is the one that we used to talk to the ground. We use it every day, several times a day. But uh, you will see that if I show you uh, some of the equipment that we use on the station, you will notice that they are always very sturdy and kind of different. For example, this is the transformer that gives power to a computer. As you can tell, Compared to one that you would use on the ground, it's much bigger and sturdy. It's, it's uh, made, made of metal, and that's to protect from electrical surges, from potential fires. Everything on the station is very safe, and very sturdy, and, and protected. And, and that's why the microphone looks like this. Looks like a giant electric toothbrush. <laughs> I have one just like this, only smaller, back uh, back on the ground. I'm um, very envious of what you do. I, I... I'm getting old now, but I'm, I hope I will have the chance to go into space sometime. But uh, what is your uh, look? <laughs> That's how you drink, huh? <laughs> um, it's it's gin, I would only imagine. When, uh, only when I'm showing off. Normally we just suck out of the straw, but it's, uh, it's fun to show the bubbles of water. What is your most favorite thing about what you're doing, you know, in this period up in uh, up in space? And and what is your least favorite thing? Uh, those are tough questions. I really don't have a least favorite thing. I have decided that I, I do not have the right and, and not to enjoy uh, the time that I'm spending up here. So I really like to do, um, I really like all the activities so far. It's been really, everything is really in the positive. Uh, my most exciting and fair activity so far has been the, the extra vehicle activity, the EVA. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, but it's an incredible experience. And I sure wish to, uh, to be able to do it again uh, in the future. I'm sure you must have talked about it till you're blue in the face, but uh, we were, um, you know, we're obviously very concerned about your sure. near accident. Yeah, that, that, let's just say it was, a, it was certainly an interesting time, but uh, the good thing is that we learned from it and uh, we're making it better, and uh, it, will be, it will be better next time for the next guy, hopefully uh, for me too, and... Uh, and we, we know we can recover from it. So, I, I, you know, any experience is a good experience uh, in, in, in my point of view. As a test pilot, I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, things that would um, uh, that have made the hair that I don't have on, on my back rise. And so this just adds to the list. Do you spend a lot of time looking at the Earth when you, when you have a moment to do so? And do you, do you wave at your country when you fly past? I don't spend as much time as much time as I would like to spend uh, at the window because we we're very busy up here. Uh, but, you know, we have a lot of experiments going on. About at any given time, the station there are about 150 experiments going on. So we we're busy with maintenance experiments, uh, our uh, workouts. But uh, certainly, whenever I have the occasion to to look out the window, take pictures, and especially over Italy, uh, I've been partial to that. And so yes, I do that as much as I can. Okay, I'm being told we need to wrap up here. Um, once again, Luca, thank you so much. And uh, please leave time to listen to music when you can. <laughs> it was great, great talking to you, and uh, thank you again so much. It's been a pleasure. Again, thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming up here on board. Thank you for what you did. And I always listen to music. It, uh, if, I, if I'm not actively listening to music, it's in my head. So I will follow your advice. Thank you very much. Ciao, 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 ciao